Now this question here it says, find the sum of following arithmetic progressions. We have these arithmetic progressions here, first one, second one, third one, fourth one. Now, we have 2, 7, 12 and it says up to 10 terms of this progression, what would be the sum of all these numbers here? It means 2 plus 7 plus 12, it goes up to 10th term. What is the sum of that? Now one way is we find out the complete series, means up to 10 terms and then we sum them together. That would definitely be a very long job. The formula here is, to make it much easier, is sum is equal to n over 2 multiplied with first term plus last term. Last term, or suppose we have a series which goes up to say 17th term, some series, and we want sum up to say 8th term. In that case, 8th is not the last term, but we can take that series only up to 8th term, and 8th term becomes the last term. So in place of last term, we can write a n also means nth term. First term till the nth term, we have to know the sum. Now this series here is, it says up to 12th term. So very first thing we have to find out what is a 10th term. Now 10th term will be a plus 9d, a is 2 plus 9d would be 7 minus 2 is 5 or 12 minus 7 same thing 2 plus 45 is my 47 is my 10th term or last term in this series. So what would be the sum? n over 2 sum is n over 2 multiplied with a plus last term or nth term. Now number of sum we have 10 over 2 first term is 2 last term or 10th term 47 so this will be 10 over 2 into 49 which is 490 over 2 so this would be 245 means sum up to 10 terms is 245 if you write this progression up to 10 terms and add all the terms together it will give you 245 so that's the answer this one here it says this progression we need sum up to 12 terms so first of all let's find out the 12th term 12th term would be a plus 11d if a is negative 37 plus 11d would be negative 33 minus minus 37 a2 minus a1 so minus 33 plus 37 gives you 4 so a this would be negative 37 plus 44 which is 7 here now I know my 12th term is 7 so sum of 2 12 terms would be n over 2 a plus 12 term or last term same thing n means total number of terms 12 terms over 2 a is first term negative 37 plus a 12 means 12 term is 7 or last term 7 so 6 into this would be negative 37 plus 7 gives you negative 30 6 and negative 30 gives you negative 30. That's the answer here. So if you write this progression up to 12 terms and sum all of them together, they will give you negative 180. Alright? This one here, we have to add up to 100 terms. Now you see if you have to write up to 100 terms and then you have to add together, how much time it will take. That is why we need that formula here. So let's find out 100 term a plus 99d here d would be 1.7 minus 0 0.6 that is 1.1 so a is 0 0.6 plus 99 into 1.1 so this would be 0 0.6 plus 99 into 1.1 gives you 108.9 plus 0 0.6 is 109. Point so that's my 100th term. 
So sum of 200 term would be n over 2 a plus a n or last term same thing. We have 100 terms. First term is 0 0.6 and last term of 100 term is 109.5. So this would be 50 into 110.1 which is 5505. So sum up to 100 term for this progression would be 5505. This one here we have to go to 11th term. So a here is 1 over 15. So D would be 1 over 12 minus 1 over 15. A2 minus A1. So this would be 5 minus 4 which is 1 over 60. So 11 term would be A plus 10D. A is 1 over 15 plus 10 into 1 over 60, 1 over 15 plus 1 over 6, 2 plus 5, 7 over 30. So sum up to 11 terms would be n over 2, a plus 11th term or last term. We have 11 terms, 11 over 2, a is 1 over 15. Plus 11 term is 7 over 30. So 11 over 2 into 11 over 2 into 9 over 30. So this would be 11 over 2 into 3 over 10. So which is 33 over 20. So sum of 11 terms in this progression would be 33 over 20. Alright?